This is Asierto. He's a 12-year-old stallion, and he's just one of the performers here at the Noble Horse Theater. It's the oldest riding stable in the United States, and it's right here in the middle of Chicago. Let's go. Among Chicago's many skyscrapers, you'll find horses roaming in a pasture, the Noble Horse Theater is the oldest and only remaining riding stable in the city. The stable in the Old Town neighborhood is home to many of the beautiful carriage horses and historic carriages you see on the street. It's also home to more than a dozen talented show horses brought in from around the world. These highly trained horses perform in shows year-round, and patrons get a chance to pet, feed, and ride them afterwards. Uh, seeing them is is a pleasure and, and I think it warms everyone's hearts, you know. I don't know a lot of people that don't like horses. You can even get horseback riding lessons here. But aside from offering a chance to interact with furry friends in a big city, a visit to the Noble Horse Theater is a truly historical experience. The building has survived 135 years through changing ownership, abandonment, and the threat of demolition. It now stands proud after a recent four-year renovation to preserve its unique character and charm. We hope that people can imagine what it would be in the last century when they come in the doors. That they can see how humans lived 100, 150, 200 years ago and uh, see what horses can actually do. The stable was built back in 1872 when horses were the only form of transportation in Chicago. Like parking a car today, Locals needed somewhere to store their horses and carriages, so the space served as one of many old-school parking garages. In 1922, the facility transformed into a prestigious riding academy called Lakeshore Stables. We have health clubs today. Years ago, they had stables, and there were literally, I imagine there were probably a hundred of them still by 1922 in the city, all around Chicago's major parks, uh, you know, Washington Park, Lincoln Park, Humboldt Park, all of them had bridle paths that were set up during the Burnham Plan when they designed all the city's parks. As cars became the popular mode of transportation, horseback riding in the city went out of style. The building shut down in 1972 and stood empty for more than 10 years. In 1983, Dan Sampson bought the abandoned building. He's the same guy who had started the Noble Horse Carriage Company, providing carriage rides in the city. Dan brought life into the stables once again and named it the Noble Horse Riding Academy. But by 1999, the building was in danger of falling apart. We had to do a massive renovation or essentially sell it and tear it down. And um, we made the decision. We came up with uh, a, a group of very, very fine investors who want to see this historical building saved. The city participated in a small way to help us uh, help us save this building. And uh, we started the renovation in 1999 and we finished it in 2002. And it's a, um, a magnificent building now. We brought it back to what it would have been in probably 1922. Dan offered to give us a tour of what felt like a magical castle. The lobby used to be a blacksmith shop. That's back when blacksmith shops were as common as gas stations. He then took us into a room that serves as Chicago's only horse museum. So now we walk into the theater. Oh my goodness. This is just like walking back in time. It is. The arena seats 300 people and was renovated to look like it did in 1872. They replaced the deteriorated wood seats and gave the original roof and walls a tune-up. Wow, so this is, I mean, God, this is such historical ground that we're standing on right now, right in the middle of the city. Then we were off to see the horses. There are about 50 horses here at any one time. The carriage horses are kept on the first floor and the show horses on the second. They go through 17,000 bales of hay a year. And all in all, the people here are doing the same jobs that they did back in 1872. And that includes shoveling stuff like this. Ew, whew. Oh, there we go. They dish out over 50 tons of manure a year, by the way, which they donate to local organic gardeners. Training the horses is also part of the job. The carriage horses come from the Amish in southern Indiana and are already bred and trained to pull carriages. But the show horses need to be trained to perform. It takes about six years to train a horse for a performance at the Noble Horse Theater. I decided to give it a try and found it truly takes talent. 
We're gonna do what we call a bow. Okay. Asierto is gonna take a bow. You saw him do this a couple times in the performance today. You're gonna put this in your right hand. Now all you're doing is this is an extension of your hand. Instead of having to bend over, you can touch him right there. Okay. And you're gonna ask him to bow. 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 Touch him, touch him a little more. Bow, Asierto. Come on, come on, buddy. Make me look good. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I think he's angry at me. No. Asierto, take a bow. I think he might be hungry. Okay, I needed a little help. And finally, Asierto bowed. It's the beauty of a horse like this that Dan Sampson hopes will continue to draw people in from the busy city life for years to come. It's the feeling of being able to ride with, uh, with horses is something we, we humans have done for thousands of years. And I'm glad that we're able to bring this type of entertainment and enjoyment and uh, how, can I, uh, how can I put it, um, sort of biodiversity here to Chicago and maintain it. So even though the stable may seem a little out of place sitting next to modern condos, keeping the history and beauty inside alive may be worth more than the value of the real estate.